Hi, Jen and Casey here with Fusion Online Video. Today we're looking at all about articulations. We're in our same bridge series and today we're looking at bridge on the reformer. So this is an exercise you see all the time in the studio. Teachers love teaching this exercise because people really feel their glutes and their hamstrings so it feels like work, it feels like a workout. So this is something that you see all the time. Um, now a lot of times we see people in the rolling bridge that are kind of missing big chunks in their back, right? Absolutely. We see people really gripping and hoisting themselves up into the position, right? And kind of wobbling, really unstable. So what Casey and I like to bring to this exercise is a sense of ease in the exercise because really we shouldn't be gripping and um, holding and straining through movement. Even a exercise like this, right? It should feel like an ease of movement where we're putting the work into the right place. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is all about the legs, right? And the pelvis and for the spine to feel really ease. Mm -hmm. So let's watch Casey do this. So the headrest is down, the feet and the legs are in parallel. She's using the arch of her foot, right, talking to the foot bar about pulling up on that arch of the foot. So she's cueing the suction cup of her foot. She's taking a deep exhale. She's starting to peel off. And I want her to pour her legs and her feet into the foot bar, keep picking up the arches of her feet, easily bringing up the spine. Take a deep inhale here and then start to roll down from between the shoulder blades. Still feel like you're reaching the legs into the feet. Then she has the mid back. She's keeping that posterior tilt in her pelvis, finding the top of the pelvis and then wheeling all the way down into the tip of the tailbone. So she's returning to neutral. Now, some ways that you can help clients. You can use a little bit of an incline so we could just put that pillow right under her lower back and that really is giving her a pretty big lift to come up so she doesn't have as far to travel up or down. So taking a deep exhale and rolling and she feels like the spine is pushing the pillow out from under her towards her feet. Yep, and she keeps wanting to pour the feet into the bar and then slowly coming down one vertebrae at a time all the way down into the tip of the tailbone. So this is a prop to use, especially if you see your clients coming up into bridge and you notice that right away they're squeezing the glutes mm -hmm. even before they've started to come up, right. right? So that's a cue that, you know what, they need to find a little bit more room around the sacrum. So this would be great to give them. Try it again. Pouring the legs and the feet into the bar, picking up that suction cup of the foot Keep reaching the legs and the feet into the bar, unraveling the spine, beautiful. And now from between the shoulder blades, the middle of the back, and now the pillow is right there. So her lower back can find the incline of the pillow and then all the way into the tip of the tailbone. Very good. Come on off, take this away. And if you want them to have a little bit of support, but also a little bit of instability, this is also a really nice thing to use. So we can put that right at the pelvis. She can rest on it. And right away she'll notice, oh, I'm putting more weight into the left or the right side of my sacrum. And so she has to find her center, right? She has to anchor her feet. And then from there, pushing the ball towards the foot bar with her rolling spine, pouring the kneecaps into the ankles, the feet reaching and holding onto the bar. And then on the exhale from her upper back, the mid back, finding that ball equally on the left and right side. <laughs> yeah, and so you really see what your tendency is about coming down in the pelvis, like where you really want to fall off the ledge, right? And for Casey, a little bit, it was this side of her pelvis, right? So the next time she would do it, we would be really aware of like cueing a piece of Velcro there on, on this right side of the pelvis that she had to just subtly put more attention into it on that side. Absolutely. Very good. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.